Hey everybody, it's Sadie from Hip in Detroit, hanging out with Tune Day. Hi. What's up? I'm so excited to see you. No, I, I feel like you are one of the few people that I associate with just being in Detroit and playing shows. So I'm okay. always like, I always feel like grounded when I when you're there. Oh, that's a really <laughs> nice thing to say. Thank you for yeah. starting out with that. I'm really excited that you're playing a show in Detroit tonight. Um, it's been a little minute since I've seen you. Yeah. There was a multiple series of times that I went to see you that it rained on me. Yeah, we had this like streak in the summer times. and I felt like storm. I felt like every time we played somewhere, it was Labor Day Fest, mm -hmm. Sidewalk Fest, and it just yeah. was not even light rain. No, it like, was like crazy. Like we can't exist in this rain and be okay. Like, like we one have time my car wouldn't drive forward, I had to stop in Hamtramck kind of stuff. Yeah. Like it was crazy. Climate change. Yeah, there you go. So I'm excited that tonight I think we're going to have a really awesome dry show at the new... <laughs> Two James. Um, yeah. What is it like a warehouse? Two, it's like their it's their annex. So it's it's across the street from Two James, and I think Assemble just kind of linked up with them to do an event. And it's so it's a big space to kind of like blank canvas, do whatever you want with it. Nice. Yeah. And we walked across the street. We are inside Assemble right now in the church. Hallelujah. <laughs> or a lot of the magic happens, correct? Yeah, I think uh, you know, Small Victories is the album, the mini album that uh, Flynnie Swood is showing people tonight and I think this was that was the first piece of music that was fully made in assemble so it's kind of really significant. It is very yeah. significant. Have you done any recording here? I haven't done recording. No, I did do some recording for someone else. I produced and written for someone else in this space. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I feel like a lot of really cool artists have that's why it's a good yeah it's a great collaboration space. I think tonight Seth's doing like a ton of songs he's done with other artists so Oh I saw that lineup it was like yeah it was Eddie Lodges. everybody we like has, who produces here, Nigel and the Dropouts have some space up here. Like, they bought my car. They did? <laughs> Shout out to I car buyers. It. it goes across the country now and it makes me go like, your car's in Pittsburgh right now. I'm like, yes! I can't mean. believe it's going forward. I'm so happy. That's good. So tell me a little bit about your life right now. I mean, you released your album, what, maybe six months ago? No, uh, August. Yeah, okay, it was that soon. Wow. Yeah, it, was, it feels like a lot has happened. <laughs> I just feel like, yeah, I was getting ready for it for a long time. Okay, so it was just since August, and you've been in Rolling Stone and all over the world. I freaked out the day you were in Rolling Stone. I knew, kind of thought, like, that's again, like, so you know, there's legend. certain things you want to tell certain friends, and I was like, oh, I can't wait to tell Sadie this. That's like legend. I don't know. That's a big day. I was also next to CL, so that was, a, I'm a big fan of, like, K-pop, so I was really freaking out about that. But yeah, that... There's just a lot of good press for a transgressor, and um, thankfully, more people have gotten to hear it, and we're, we're still pushing it. So oh, yeah. I've probably, like, right now, just been gearing up for other shows and touring. That's what I was going to say. Like, yeah. are we actually going to do a tour for this one, or you know, keep it around the area? I'm going to, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to say we're exploring stuff to do it the right way. Cool. So hopefully, if it happens, it'll be like... And what do you think good. the people's response has been? You know, it's cool. Like... I think people have been see hearing this stuff live for a while, and they honestly didn't have any recordings to like get no. more familiar with. No, it was crazy to me. Some of the songs, I'm like, wow, I've been singing parts of this really wrong but for years. <laughs> like, really wrong. Like, I totally lost you sometimes. <laughs> I just make up my own shit, apparently. Um, but yours are fine. Better, so, oh, I mean, thanks. Least, yeah, <laughs> That's good. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is just like been a cool way for people to to get into the album if they like me live but then if they don't really know me as a live act and they like some people in shows I've been as like I just saw your article in Rolling Stone or Pitchfork and I thought I would come check it out so that's been a really good way to be like oh I was really into nice. the live set yeah oh that's wonderful I know we like hearing that yeah we do crossing <laughs> all borders um so cool well we'll keep you know let us know when you're gonna tour or do something cool so we can let everybody else know sure. I love you I think you're great and uh, good luck tonight. I'm really excited mm -hmm. to see what we do. Look, I think you is. Probably... Look at how sweet she is. She like made me mm -hmm. do this I have like thing. a little crew of people that get them sometimes. And obviously a part of that special. crew. I don't feel special. <laughs> the thing is the chains break a lot. So when okay, that chain I'll, breaks. I won't wear it on stage. I'll just nothing it. about it. It's, I mean, there's $5 bills. In you know, well, because, <laughs> because of like my life, I have so many things from like old necklaces and like jewelry in my studio space. So I'll probably just replace yeah, them. Yeah, or you just let me know and I'll mail your replacement is what I've been doing. Right, cool. So okay. just let me know. Sweet. Awesome. We'll uh, check you out tonight. We're going to get some video and keep it hip.